Hi friends, today I am explaining about Teradata introduction. Yeah, let me about uh, to explain Teradata introduction. I will I, I need to share some data before that. Yeah, let me know what is meant by data. Yeah, data is anything you can be able to capture. Whatever the data if you do, if you want to capture, then it is called as a data. We are able to capture three types of data in real time industries. Yeah, there are three types such as unstructured data, semi structured data, and structured data. Yeah, I'll explain uh, one by one. Yeah, first one it is unstructured data. Basically, unstructured data is nothing but uh, Facebook images or messengers, Twitter messages, WhatsApp, satellite signals, web media ads. File stream storage that is uh, Teradata, Astros, Hadoop, etc. Whereas in semi-structured data, logo info, journal info, whereas in file stream or data database streams, etc. Structured data. In structured data uh, via, uh, is nothing but booking the movie ticket, booking a train ticket, withdraw cash, etc. Database storage. Some of them are Oracle, SQL Server, Teradata, MySQL, etc. Yeah, in real world, 80% of data from unstructured and semi-structured. Teradata supports all the three data. Teradata is usually to store unstructured, semi-structured, and the structured data. Yeah, in IT storage areas are of two types. They are uh, file storage, database. I, I need to show the difference between uh, file storage and the database. Some of the differences are there. Uh, Where file stream is unstructured and database has to be unstructured. We cannot apply conditions, indexes, and triggers in file stream. We can apply conditions, indexes, triggers, and uh, everything in uh, database. In file stream, that is a uh, fast storage of data. In database, a slow com slow compared to file. In file stream, managing difficult, whereas in database, good for storing and managing. Storing a huge amount of data, we can store easily in database, and managing also is to be very easy. Whereas in file stream, it is it's a bit difficult because uh, if you want to go. Uh, fetch the data from uh, row number 12 and column number 14 then we can easily detect the data in database whereas in file stream we cannot and retrieving data is very difficult in file stream as compared to database in database retrieving data is very easy as compared to file stream yeah i need to go for yeah i need to explain this uh, it application types in IT application types, there are two types, whereas in OLTP and OLAP, whereas in OLTP is nothing but online transaction processing, whereas in OLTP is uh, online article applications. Yeah, I need to explain uh, one more thing, yeah, two differences between OLTP and OLAP. Whereas in characteristics, it is nothing but uh, OLTP operational processing and OLTP information processing. OLTP is nothing but transaction data. OLAP is analysis process. Whereas in uh, accessing, OLTP is uh, read and write. OLAP mostly read. Priority high flexible and uh, availability for OLTP and uh, high flexibility for OLAP. Whereas in size of uh, size of OLTP is uh, 100 MB to gigabytes, whereas in uh, OLAP 100 100 gigabytes to terabytes. Whereas in view detailed in OLTP and uh, summarized in OLAP. Yeah, this is the data warehousing layers. I need to explain this. Let me know what is meant by database. It is uh, database nothing but uh, huge storage of uh, high volume data and designed for decision makings. 
some of them are uh, Oracle, uh, DB2, SQL Server, Sybase, Teradata, etc. Let me know I need to explain what is meant by ETL. ETL is extraction, transformation and loading. Whereas getting the data is nothing but extraction. It is doing operations. I mean to some uh, calculations or uh, some of them we need to concat or else uh, unconcat. Uh, some, like uh, we have to convert from upper to lower cases. Uh, these are the rules which we have used in transformations and loading. After the transformation, we have to load the data from uh, source systems to target. These are the source systems we are uh, using. After that, we are extracting data and uh, extracting data. We are moving to the data warehousing. Whereas in data warehousing, which we are to go for reporting, OLAP analysis, and the data mining. Some of the some of the layers I need to ex explain here. There's a semantic layer. Semantic layer is designed for multi-dimensional components creation and analysis. Here, this semantic layer, which uh, which has to be placed here. Only uh, and reporting. Reporting layer it presents the data in more and better understanding way. We have we have so many tools to be in reporting such as the Cognos, uh, OBIWE, Crystal Reports, Click View, Oracle Database, MicroStrategy, HANA, BO, etc. These are the tools which uh, we can use for reporting tools. Whereas in data, data quality layer ensures quality to profiling, stopping and uh, clean, cleansing the data. We can use for uh, cleansing the data informatica or uh, quality stays that is data stays, Q, uh, DQS, MSBI etc. I will explain now Teradata definition. It is an RDMS that derives companies data warehouse, OLAP, data mart, OLTP applications. An open system which executes an uh, Unix, Windows, Novel, etc. Compatible with ANSI standards. Acts like a server. Runs on single and multiple nodes. Builds on parallelism. This is the main concept in Teradata we can use for uh, retrieving the data very fastly by using the parallelism. Parallelism concept uh, plays major role in uh, every databases but uh, Teradata has its def uh, its uh, very good preference in uh, parallelism that, in, that is what to retrieving the data fastly by parallelly not in serial. Yeah, I will explain this parallelism later. Yeah, what are the hardware and software requirements and installation steps I need to explain now. Yeah, host Teradata software uh, available for uh, 15th version uh, nowadays. Need to know some uh, small example to discuss with you. If 10 amps available and 100 records distributed, then each amp holds 10 records. This is possible by using hashing mechanism through primary index process. This is called full uniform uh, distribution. Uh, parallelly, it has to be uh, processed 10, 10 records at a time. Now, if you have 10 amps and the data available on uh, uh, 500 records distribution, then each amp holds 10 records. This is possible by hashing mechanism only through primary index. Uh, if uh, data is retrieving uh, unevenly, that is to be of uh, each amp holds uh, 15 records, 25 records, and 40 records, then it is called uh, uneven distribution, nothing but skewness distribution. Are less uniform distribution. If the uh, that is, if uh, skewness distribution is nothing but uh, 
uh, if 100 records are there uh, five, uh, five amps are there each amp uh, it's not distributed in uniformly that is uh, one amp consider as a 30 records one amp is in 50 records one amp is 25 records another amp is 10 records and uh, one more is 15 records this is called uniform distribution if the primary index is not a unique primary index then data has to be distributed in unevenly or less uniform that is nothing but skewness yeah all the uh, please follow my videos yeah thank you for watching my video i'll explain some of the com uh, components in another video yeah thanks for viewing this video